In addition to your standard vital signs, you can also add custom vital signs for anything else that you may be documenting in an assessment. To set up your custom vitals, go to Account, Custom Fields, and click Vital Signs in the menu on the left-hand side. Here, click the green Add New Vital Sign button to create a new one. For instance, with our female patients, we may want to track the first date of the last menstrual cycle. If you would like to be able to pull the data from this custom vital field into your medical form, simply include a form name here, and then when building out your form, you can actually use a button that will automatically pull that data into your form. Select what type of field you would like. For this one, since we will be entering in a date, we'll just leave it as a plain text. You can include a description if needed, and then hit save. I'll create one more as an example. If you will be tracking blood glucose, for instance. Here, this will be a number. And we will give it one decimal place. And we'll generate a custom unit. You can find these custom vital signs anywhere you can enter standard vital signs. For instance, if you're in a clinical note, and click on the vitals button, you'll see your standard vitals listed here, as well as the custom vitals in the custom vitals tab. In the iPad EHR, again, you can find your custom vitals right next to your standard vitals. Here you can click vitals, and click on the Custom Vitals tab at the top. Just like with your standard vitals, you can tap the graph icon to generate a graph to see the vitals trends. So that's how you create and document custom vital signs on both the web and the iPad.